small national record. From, okay, uh, we have from Singapore our neighbor Jonathan Chong, and uh, Jonathan Chong. Uh, I'm not sure how, how many record do you have? You have been a, a record holder for some time in Singapore, and currently, oh, also okay. And uh, uh, Paul Sack is relatively new in the uh, uh, record uh, national record attempt, and at the moment he holds two national record. And Stanley, the deepest man in Indonesia, he, he I, I think if you're, you're here just now, you, you, you would have heard that he is the main organizer for the death challenge in Indonesia in Sabah. Okay, uh, can I invite you to sit down? Okay. Thank you. Okay, for the start, uh, I would invite each and every one of them to uh, give a, a, bright, a, 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 a brief uh, introduction of themselves, the history of uh, National Record Attempt, and um, and what motivated them to to try for to strike a new national record? Can we start with Azwa? Uh, hi, my name is uh, Azwa. So currently, I have uh, all six uh, records uh, for free diving, pool and depth disciplines. I started free diving in 2012. Uh, from at that time, this guy <laughs> next to me is uh, is assisting. Uh, during the instructor course and then uh, the following year I started to compete in my first depth competition in one breath jambori at that time I just uh, dived uh, to 28 meters to set a new record for constant weight dive because like uh, I just want to dive uh, to remember about uh, my something that is more memorable so I said 28 because uh, at that time I was 28 years old <laughs> so uh, from there, I start to compete. I start to compete in uh, in uh, pool disciplines. So then I set more records from there, and then yeah, <laughs> suddenly like now uh, I dive to 60 meter, 61 from 28 to 61, and then uh, for the pool from uh, 100. 136 meter, I think uh, first record for Malaysia, and now it's already 165. Uh, and then uh, hold my breath for five minutes and two seconds. And yes, <laughs> I I see myself that I will still compete. Maybe I don't know, but because like, for now I have the advantage because I'm the only woman from Malaysia doing free diving in a competition. So I think uh, this is uh, my privilege to set uh, more records for Malaysia. But I would love to see more women, especially from Malaysia, to try to compete in international area and try to break my record. Yeah. Okay, that's Azwa. I think uh, besides free diving, she is iconic uh, in free diving in Malaysia. She, she runs the best run free diving school and moreover, she is also the fashionista of free diving. <laughs> okay. okay, so we move on to Azam. Uh, Azam is an IDA instructor, was my first instructor. Uh, and he was uh, instrumental in getting quite a lot of us <coughs> into the competitive free diving. Azam, please. Okay, my name is Azam from uh, Kuala Lumpur. I started free diving in 2010. In uh, June 2010, that was eight years ago. And uh, six months after I did my first course, uh, with Ida, I got to Ida too qualification at that time. Six months later, I took my, I did my first competition that was organized in uh, Klang yeah, by Klang Executive Club. That was a pool competition, and uh, I won the first place. And uh, from there, I did my second competition in February 2009. That was in uh, Koh Lanta, Naman. That was my first depth competition. And uh, since then, I love to do competition uh, in free diving a lot because uh, before I did free diving, I do a lot uh, of uh, multi sports, long distance sport. I do it uh, triathlon, I do marathon and uh, long distance swimming. And uh, one day I watch YouTube and uh, I found like, okay, they have competition in free diving, so yeah, I would like to try that. So since then, I train quite seriously and uh, I 
took part in a lot of competition, mainly regionally and uh, also in a world championship two times in a, in uh, 2010 in Nice and two years ago in Greece. There was a team competition together with uh, Azwa. And uh, currently I have uh, four records for Malaysia and uh, my friend uh, Paul, he now holds two of those records, uh, two records and uh, he's catching up with me now. <laughs> That's good because uh, I have some competition locally and uh, that means uh, that motivates me even more to train and uh, to gain uh, more depth and uh, more distance and more time in uh, free diving. Uh, thank you Azal. <coughs> okay, uh, can I invite uh, Jonathan Chong? Uh, actually, he's been uh, around for some time uh, in free diving. Only that we, we only in the close circuit that we know. But uh, can you uh, elaborate more on your history in free diving and your uh, national records? Okay, hi. So I'm Jonathan from Singapore. Actually, I'm I'm not very experienced compared to to them. <laughs> I only started free diving uh, about five years ago in two zero one three. I was introduced uh, to the sport through my scuba diving club. Yeah. And back then, I was using my uh, short scuba fins and my big scuba mask to uh, swim around in the pool. And how I got into competition is uh, the club had a very small competition. And I think they didn't have enough participants. So my coach, uh, he, he tried to trick me into competing. And I, I said, I don't have any experience in competing and I'm very new. I only feel that for two months. He said, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I give you this training drill, you do it when you have time uh, and, and you try your best. So he gave me a very short training drill that lasts about 10 minutes. But I'm being young, I want to make sure I don't uh, malu, uh, lose face. <laughs> so I, I did this training drill uh, about 3 times a day, every day for, for 2 weeks. So I went to my first competition and uh, that's where I get my first record. It was in uh, the static division. So that's where you hold your breath and you do nothing and you see how long you can go uh, based on time. So that one I hold my breath for uh, 6 minutes, 13 seconds. And so that's my first record. Uh, after that I realized, I thought, hey, I, I think I can, I can do this. I'll start training. So from then on, every, every competition that I see maybe 5 or 6 months in advance, I say, okay, I want to try and do this. Uh, I want to try and break the previous record. I want to do this record attempt. And then I'll set myself a five, six months goal training. Then I'll set a training plan. Then I will train for it. So I've been doing this uh, uh, this plan for about four years now. Uh, I, so as of now, uh, yes, I, I hold all the six national records for Singapore. But I think I still want to, to keep going and keep on improving myself. Okay, there's uh, all the six records, uh, three pools and three depth records. Okay, okay. The next one is uh, relatively young in terms of uh, competitive free diving, but within the last uh, year and a half, has only broke two national records. Okay, can I have some uh, background, uh, Paul? Some background to your your activity in free diving. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Paul. Uh, thanks, Prof, for inviting. It's an honor to be here. Uh, as you said, I am a newbie. I started uh, free diving only two years ago, sometime in 2016, June 2016. So, uh, what prompted me to take up free diving is that I wanted to find a hobby that I can do while uh, it's healthy to uh, support a healthy lifestyle. I started with uh, scuba, and uh, I find that. Well, scuba is technical, but physically it's not really uh, healthy. You, you can be slouched and you can still dive uh, with your tank. So I figured maybe I find something more uh, healthy to, to begin with. So I tried uh, uh, free diving. And uh, during my level one certification, I uh, managed to hold my breath for like five minutes. So that uh, actually prompted me to actually pursue uh, free diving education further, all the way until uh, instructorship. Um, 
what else? Uh, in terms of my competition experiences, uh, so far I only have uh, four, four IDA sanctioned uh, competitions. The first one was a pool competition in uh, Indonesia, 2000, uh, October 2016. So that's just about three months after my uh, exposure to free diving. So I went for that and uh, out of three disciplines, I, uh, I competed, I got two red cards, which is a disqualification and white, one white card. Obviously, I didn't know what I was doing and, uh, and, and too eager to perform. But uh, yeah, a lot of uh, experience uh, gained from uh, that competition. My first that um, competition was in uh, uh, August 2017 in Pang Lao in the Philippines. Uh, I tried free immersion, which is pulling down with, uh, with ropes. I managed uh, my TV at that time, 60 meters. So that gave me some uh, confidence that I and somehow doing the right thing to uh, gain, uh, gain some depth. Uh, my second pool competition was in uh, October last year in uh, Jakarta. Uh, it is there where I uh, recorded two national records for static, uh, 5 minutes 59 seconds and uh, dynamic with fin of uh, 150 meters. Uh, my second that competition was uh, in Sabang last year, November 17. Uh, in that event, again, I was uh, a bit uh, pushy and uh, harsh to myself. Unfortunately, during my first uh, attempt, I uh, ruptured my left eardrum, so I had to uh, pull out of the competition. Uh, but uh, well, good lesson learned of, uh, of not pushing yourself too hard in uh, free diving. You, you basically cannot. Uh, fast track your, your development in uh, depth adaptation and uh, yeah so that's it thanks <laughs> okay thank you Paul very short history but very interesting uh, a lot of lessons learned and I think I'm sure uh, we will discuss more later okay uh, we have a, a person that we, we quoted uh, last minute but a person that has a lot of experience in uh, competitive freediving uh, Pak Stanley from Indonesia. Uh, he has been among